A Saudi soul, you're very much about confirmation mm. and not validation. Let me explain this. Mm-hmm. Confirmation in the sense that um, when, you, when people come and, and buy your music, react to what you're doing, right. and everything that you've put together, it's a confirmation mm. that you have been working hard. And let me just tell you, I people know, but because I've seen these guys work extremely hard. I don't know when you sleep, when you do sleep. <laughs> Congratulations. Maybe there are a few more hours for you. Yeah. And I, when I say that you're not about validation is you don't need us to validate who you are. You already know who you are. And that is because of the work you put in. And yeah. your your incredible work ethic is really enviable. And it is such an inspiration to all of us. I have to say this. Maybe you haven't heard this today. Mm. But I, I, I kid you not, it is an inspiration to all of us. So kudos it's it's really just not about validation it's but not, it is about confirmation it's not i i think i mean there's moments there's moments you do need validation as as a creative and as an act but um but um you grow into not needing validation um what what was the one you said not validation it's uh, it's about confirmation con- con- and yeah. not validation you you go yeah you get into a point where you where you where you confirm you know it, mm. and it's not confirmation from anybody else so you confirm and you're just like okay yeah but i will say it it starts out as you know you needing you you will need some sort of validation at some point you know that's that's i won't call it the unfortunate truth i'll just call it what it is because at some, some point we 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 are a people and you know we will always need validation from other people too that's why we have best friends friends you know um and we're in situations or social circles where you know where you accept it and things like that that's a, that's a form of validation but at some point you, you grow into a space whereby you actually confirm to yourself who who the f it is that you are and you and you own it such that other people seek validation from you not and it's not that that's your intention it's just that it's just what it is it's a byproduct it's but then at the end of it all i will say um m- m- our confirmation our confirmation our confirmation has been amazing you know our confirmation has made us get to where we are you know us actually realizing who it is that we are and having like leaving hang ups behind as to you know as to like you know where like how you grow up and you and you know you have your you have your things or situations when you grow up and that has made you the person that you are and that has made you fight to be this other person because to an extent we've been blessed to be able to to I guess see the world that we have been able to see and also have the relationship that we have with each other. You know? So for us, that's a confirmation that was needed. Mm. So then it moved, and now we're here. And you, you know what? It, it when people look at it, it's one of those things that, um, um, of course, like every you know, it's it's it, it seems selfish for even to for us to even have individual projects. But then people forget as well. We've been together for how long? Quite so a long time. For quite a long time. Yeah. Up until the time we decided to do this, it was. Yeah, it was more than ten years. Yeah. So, I would I would say you 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 know uh, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but at the end of it all, it's 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 one of those things that people look at it and they're just like, of course, like um, like it's gonna happen. It was bound to happen, but you know, the only us who are on the inside know such that it's it it's at this point whereby each one of us and me as Chimano knowing myself as an as the artist that I am is what makes me is what makes me want to move on back into the fold to be like okay now we understand mm. our individual selves so so much more so there's been different levels of confirmation but then now the confirmation is confirmed it's confirmed completely. This next <laughs> Soul album is gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna be. Let's go back to heavy as the crown. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, Chimano yeah. helping us adjust. Our that's still a crown, though. That's still a heavy crown. That's still a heavy crown. <laughs> heavy crown. <laughs> yeah. Let's go into into the songs. When I listened to it, and I, I said this earlier on, it it was uh, 
really a wave of emotions it gave me a wave of emotions listening mm. listening to your ep and i could tell that you had really to to use your yeah. accent struggle yeah struggle <laughs> really struggle kidogo to kidogo kiasi no 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 wrap your mouth <laughs> <laughs> no in the sense <laughs> No, when I say that to say. <laughs> okay, I say okay. That to no. Say, no, no, no. I'm here. I'm I'm choosing to listening to you now, Jao. You're, you're Go ahead. Go ahead. I say that to say that yeah. you had I, we listening to it, I could tell that you had been through quite a bit to get to this point. Yeah. And yeah. that journey and struggle and everything that encompasses it is what we have here. Yeah. Allow me to to read a lyric that okay. stood out to me and yeah. we're going to do a little game. I'm going to read a lyric and he's going to tell us about the song. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a loser. There's room enough for everyone. Mm. If you feel like no no no. Sometimes I feel I'm like a loser. loser. If you mm. feel like you don't belong, there's room enough Not for, for everyone. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> It's um you know, it's am- it's amazing when you th- when we even like when uh, when we were in studio like uh doing the song it's amazing how just a few years how a few years can change some dynamics in within how especially how young people relate to music and how you think of music and how you think of people in terms of you know the sexuality and things like that so I, I yeah I, f- I feel old saying this I grew up in an era <laughs> <laughs> you know where you know where whereby you know being being having having a sense of freedom or feeling or just feeling like yeah actually feeling like a loser just like yeah you're not you yeah you're not cool you're you're just on the outside yeah on the outside yeah. yeah and also like you don't even know what it is that you're feeling you know but then uh, to an extent by your own in, in your own private private um and and env- environment or whatever like you know you, like you sing and you know like you know like you're really really good or you you know you're really really creative i'm uh, i'm trying to avoid being uh, saying a curse word because okay. yeah yeah that's, that's why i'm saying that really really yes. so replace a really yeah. really with yes. <laughs> so yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah so it um so for me that's literally just as it said is just how I felt really sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like a loser and those lyrics are jump the yeah. out- outcast absurd and I'm yeah. and I'm using yeah yeah um uh, and, and and I'll still sing my song yes I'll, still I'll sing, sing it all night long yeah. if you feel you don't belong there's yeah. room enough for everyone yeah. because at the end of it all like I you know, now that I am who, like I am who I am, and that I've just you know I've grown up to be this person, and also like fully embraced like who it is that Chimano is, and holistically, because you realize that's just what it is. Yeah. You know, you there's room enough for everyone, yeah. really. If you feel like you don't belong, yes, you will feel like you don't belong, but eventually you'll know that there's room for you. And for me, that's just what this was for. And that's why, um, especially that first line, that first line is what I, like I, I mum, mummered into my phone yeah. two years ago, wow. you know? So then I, I was just like, yeah, this is how I feel. And that carried, that line carries a burden of years, yeah. you know? And it's one of those things that, that, that that Chimano is talking about that Chimano from way back. <laughs> yeah. You give us a glimpse of what your emotional process is like mm. in this EP. I'm usually screaming and I know that we're all, you hear us. I don't know, do you hear us? We're screaming, <laughs> when, you know, when you get on stage. Yeah. But you liken it to chasing a high and then going through withdrawal. What does music and being on stage do for you, even as we go to, to, to we continue with the game of the lyrics? Mm. The high is with with the the music. The music allows the music allows me to to now more than ever to be still the same person, but then to be this character, to be this person. Yeah. You know, to to literally actually put myself in a space that is just not just mine, 
but then to also put on myself in a space that if I'm feeling this way, imagine someone else who's feeling the same way that I am, but then maybe, I don't know if I can say this, that then maybe doesn't have the privilege that I have had, you know? So it just puts me in that space when I'm, when I'm on stage. Um, um, I love being in studio, but I also love being on stage so I'll, I'll so much more. Because yeah, because I'm such a, the- a theatric like human being, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just I'm just that person. So um, it just it it gives me a reprieve. It <laughs> it gives me a it gives me a reprieve outside of what it, it it gives me a chance to give my lyrics and everything to life, and um, even not with, not with just me, even within subject. So it gives me a chance to like give the music life. You know, to give the, like this is this is real life, but then give it some pizzazz. Yeah, that's what it gives me. Yeah, and um, then the withdrawal is, yeah. Then after that, I have to go home. Yeah, and you talk about and, chasing the mm, dawn or the the sunrise. Yes, yeah. yes, chasing. Yeah, there's a morning chase the dawn. Morning, yes, uh, the smoke and mirrors yes. out the door yeah. because then after that. You just it's just you. Mm. So it's just you. You, you come go, back to you come back, but and I do enjoy that. But then, uh, you know, when you're by yourself in those moments, when I'm when when I eventually go home after a night out of playing, and I am so tired, I I I do I I I do have my party and my party person uh, persona. But then, literally, now more and more, as I get older, you know, and, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, as I get older, I'm just like, this is this is my this is my party. Then when I go home, it's yeah, I I still I I feel it it reminds me of like literally being alone. But then it's it's also within those moments that I actually really do cherish mm. and I really do enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna breathe as we mm. get into <laughs> this next one. This next <laughs> you saw the crown before I became a king. Yeah. What is mad love about? Because that line just I, so I haven't crown, moved on. Yeah. I haven't moved um, on from that line. So I'm a. Um, Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'ma say that first of all, like yeah, shout out to to Don Gatia, who's who's my main songwriter. And like Don Don gave life to my songs. You know, like he totally because the and I might say like this process it, it, this is what it was. It was just um writing or having giving my songs a different life and also finding someone who I can give it life. So Don, shout out to you. I love you forever. Um so no mad love Mad Love is just it's a song to people who actually saw me for who I was before. Even before anybody knew who who it is that Chimano was. But then people who actually knew saw who Chimano was going to be. The people who told me from so many years ago that they see it. People told me to just like, you know what, y- y'all, you need to pipe down. You need to just like, mm-mm. Yeah, there's, and what people don't understand, like, yeah, there's a lot of those people. Hi. <laughs> no, there's a lot, there's a lot of them. Uh, hi, ciao. So there's, there's a lot of them. Um, um, Yeah, people who, who who made me feel better than uh um who made me feel good about who it is that I am, but then who made me understand like who it is that I am. But then in in, the, in those moments that I did not, and this is not actually two years ago. Mm. This these are people who've been there like five years before, you know, like people who've been there in years and years, like constantly telling me like, almost like you know like when you want to shake someone like gather your life, gather your life. Do you know who it is that you are or you could be? And so this song, Mad Love, it's, it's just about that. And it's also just to to people who who we'd call like now like Chimandems who are like very, very, very ready to fight, to just be there for me. Let me not say fight. Maybe positive. So... <laughs> 
Yeah, let's be let's have a positive show. So people who are just ready to be, you know, to be to be there and on my side. Um, so mad love, you know, it that's that's what mad love is just it's just all about. It's just a song for just to thank just to thank y'all, really. To to just be totally appreciative for what for for n- now I get it. Mm. Now I get it. Now I get it. Hence this. <laughs> you seem quite emotional talking about Mad Love. Mm. How do you think or can you envision performing it? Because it it you know, you've tapped into a lot of yeah. who you were, the what you felt at the time mm. and people speaking life into you and propelling you with their words, with their love, their positivity and everything. Mm. I want to know if you can envision yourself performing this song. I say this, I have overly exaggerated myself when I, I overly exaggerated myself when I was um, shooting my visuals for, for this AP because also this, this was me um, art directing my own stuff. This was me putting myself out there. Um... There was this one time, I'm um, like, I had to do three visuals in one day, literally video back to back. So, and then just a couple of days before, I had another video. Then uh, two days before that, I had another one I was shooting. So everything, this is that it exerted me so much in terms of pushing me in what I could do, and also it put me in a in a space whereby I want. This is what I've always wanted wanted to do terms of being an art director for for just being an art director or creative director but then now i have to do it for myself because you also have to you have to experiment uh, experiment on yourself and do it on yourself so i will tell you the one thing that i haven't done before i even get to the live to the live performance the one video i haven't done is mad love Mm. because i I still, I still fumble, and I feel like I'm gonna fumble without soap. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm going to, you know, because I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I just want to make sure that the people that I want, I wanted to get to, and for them to understand, they understand it. And um, so, so I've been very, very hesitant. Okay. So that's one thing that I've still up until now today, as we're doing this interview. Yeah. I have left. Okay. So and so performing it live. Mm. I'll I'll perform it if you tell me to perform it. Yeah, I'll perform it, I'll, and I'll give it the emotion it deserves. Because yeah. it is, it is. Yeah. Uh, let's carry on with this game. <laughs> we're just about to wrap it. Uh, wrap this game up. Everyone, no. The Bible says, we, and we talked about hallelujah earlier on, so let's yeah. skip that on a little bit. Um, everyone wants to be someone. Everyone wants to go somewhere. Yeah. You tapped into the human eno- emotion of belonging. Yeah. I mean, don't we, you know, don't we all? And for me, this this song and um, and Loser, hmm. it's just a hallelujah. Uh, I'm sorry, hall- Loser is just very upbeat and, um yeah. You know, upbeat, but then with with that message, but then with Hallelujah, it's just um, yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. Everybody wants to be someone. Everybody wants to go somewhere. I want to be with you. So it just it it just plays on companionship. You no, know, it could be a love song. Um, but then also still it could be your best friend. You know, I want to be with you. I want to go with you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know so. Like that, I think that that chorus is, it's it's just it's, it's what defines human existence. Yeah, you know, and you know, they give it, I'll say it again. Everybody wants to be someone. We all want to be someone. Yes, we do. I always wanted to be someone. You know, and people don't even understand who it is that they want to be. Right. Until. Until they do. You know, there's so many caveats in our lives whereby you don't, you know, you don't, um, you know, you you never get to the full potential of who of whoever it is that you're supposed to be. But at the end of it all, you become someone. So everybody wants to be someone. Everybody wants to go somewhere. And eventually, I want to be with someone. I want to be with you. And what is that? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> And now the song that I've been I've, wait, I've been waiting for this one for 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 you know till the end I've kept it to the end because mm. I wanted to tell you how I felt when I listened to it. It felt like a warm caress, beautiful day. Mm. Yeah, uh, beautiful day. Yeah. So my partner has been an amazing being in my in my in my, in my life. I was going to say my partner has been an amazing being in my human life. <laughs> Oh my god. Um yeah, so um um yeah, so he's been an amazing human being. Um we've been together for quite a while. Uh so we we usually have our our Sundays are very sacred. It's just um it's just usually Sundays because we're both very busy and um um Sunday is just that day whereby we you know when you know when 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 maybe when when you sit on the couch or like today you're just like hey me am I going to work or uh, or whatever and then you're just like oh I'm oh I'm sick or whatever and you just sit zero guilt I'm just like I will just Netflix and chill that's what we're going to do and like cook order out whatever that means but then we chill so that's what our lives are 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 about and have been about um and it's always on Sundays mostly. Um, yeah, so at some point we were sitting on the couch. I was, then I was walking to the to the bedroom uh, by myself. Then I was just saying, "Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day." This is the, oh yeah, it is actually a beautiful day. It's quite sunny, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, and then yeah, so this 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 song is just um, commemoration of our beautiful days together. I love that. Like yeah. I said, a warm mm. caress. A That's warm exactly caress. what it felt like. <laughs> so we are going to listen to another song mm-hmm. that Chimana has selected for us off his brand new EP, Heavy as the Crown. Please listen to it, download it. It's available everywhere. And fix your crown. He's helping fix us it. fix. Yeah, he's helping us fix ours. <laughs> what is the song that you're going to select for us? All right. Oh my God. Yeah, we do need to talk about freedom. Because she don't pray, uh, my tongue. Tongue, hello. Oh, not struggle. Not struggle, please. <laughs> tongue, hello. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Um, the next song is Freedom. We, we, yeah, we shall talk about it. Um, yeah, it's, I love it so much. It's very dear to me. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of the world, freedom. <laughs> 